Hello, it's Philip Taylor speaking from Richmond Green Chambers and today I'm looking at a book which has come to us from Routledge, that's the Taylor & Francis group. It's a book which is a thorny subject for many. It's the title, The Property Rights of Refugees and Internally Displaced Persons. And then it's got a subtitle, Beyond Restitution, and been written by Annika Smith. The title we've given it for our review, which is on the web and in the journals, is Restitution of Property. Do refugees have that right? And the point that we're making here is to say that this book is a formidable work of research, that's the book there, is a colossal understatement. For starters, the book contains a bibliography of no less than 38 pages. It attests to the mind-boggling amount of papers, books and learned journals which the author, uh, Annika Smith, has had to examine over the course of a decade in order to produce her scholarly, thorough and carefully argued thesis on the thorny, distressing and virtually intractable problems faced by refugees the world over, particularly with regard to property rights, when you think of the appalling things that have happened in the 20th century alone. Um, this is a book from um, Routledge. Um, it's certainly a book which I think is of great value as we look at this issue now in the 21st century, as times sort of move on. Fundamentally, though, the return of the right to return home to your own property after you and your family have been forcibly evicted as a result of war or political conflict um, has been upheld by the world community. And that's uh, exemplified in the 2005 uh, UN Principle on Housing and Property uh, Restitution for Refugees and Displaced Persons. But, as Smith points out, initiatives like these have been largely ineffectual. Indeed, she asserts that this focus on return and restitution of property has come at the expense of supporting eff uh, effectively local integration and resettlement as possible durable solutions, and she looks at alternatives. Probably unsurprising that this extensive research actually originated in Canada, uh, bearing in mind that at least three million displaced persons or refugees in Europe, um, many of whom from that group were able to emigrate to North America, but as far as it's known, received no restitution for their seized property. Um, since the publication of this book, other refugee problems have unfortunately emerged, including the thousands of refugees who have poured into Turkey. Let me just show you the book. That's the front and that's the back. Um, there's not a great deal in terms of uh, comment that I make because the actual text itself is very detailed and as I've said there is this massive um, bibliography which is at the back there and then you've got a very useful index. I believe it's a very good statement uh, on what has been going on in the past. It's something we mustn't uh, turn away from because it's an important uh, matter for us all to look at. Um, legal practitioners and advisors as well as those with academic interests I think will find this book extremely helpful. Certainly I'd like to thank um, Schmidt and all the people involved in producing something that's a very worthwhile contribution to what's been a bit of an affront uh, in the past and something that really must be sorted out at some stage in the future. Thank you to all. Bye-bye.